Bentonville West Torrens, Eagles and Port Adelaide. We saw the Eagles prevail over Port Adelaide last night in dramatic circumstances. What can we expect here today as we get underway? Quickly, Archie for Port Adelaide going forward. Wrapped up in a good tackle there. Break Tom Gray. Now a chance it is again for Archie going deep and running back with it. The mark's been taken here by Nathan Cracker. Oh. And Loby with a clear hit out of the first centre bounce. Crackhart, known goal, kicker has kicked 20 this year, he's kicked 21, dream start from the Magpies. Here's Loby. Drives inside the attacking 50. Chance now, Latching onto the loose ball, Aiden Johnson, hands over, running onto it, dodging through traffic, gets the kick away, Atley as well, lights it off the boot, and Joe Atley's kicked his first. Coming back now, have a look at Tommy Gray, kicked a great goal late in the game last week. Sends it back to Archie. His kick is good. Vision outstanding. And the mark's been taken by Matty White. He's going to shoot from inside 50, 45 degree angle. Aiden Johnson just getting patched up on the bench. Now, yeah, have a look at that kick from Matty White. Splits the centre. Nina surveys his options. Once Archie got one hand on it, then cleans up his own mess. Needs support. Sharrett. Low trajectory on the kick into the pocket. Cracker takes the mark. Kick the first goal of the game. Now he's kicked Port Adelaide's fourth and they lead by 25 points. Robbie Young and they're out. A little bit of time here for Palmer to fumble. Looks up, long kick towards Eddie. One on one, Brett Eddie in a good spot. You'd back him every time, especially against a smaller opponent, Goldsworthy. But he's just a, such a clean player above his head. Well, goals from turnovers, goals from stoppage. It's been an outstanding start for Port Adelaide. Brent Eddy kicks it. Little pirouette and claps, and uh, they're on a merry, merry march now. Port Adelaide, five goals, five. Been very good at getting the ball on efficiently and quickly. Petrenko, quick hands, finds Boyd, the left footer. Off the side of the boot, into the pocket, one kick. Oh, Logan Austin's given away the free kick. Doesn't like the call from the umpire. One's coming up for his first disposal in the match. Just 13 games this year because of injury. 392 goals, more than anyone else playing today. And he makes no mistake that Eagles get their first. Ten minutes in, boys, and still no sign of speeds to Matt White. He went down at uh, quarter time with an ankle injury. Hasn't emerged from the sheds yet, so we'll see how he goes. Ethan Haylock on the end of a good kick. We've seen Ethan's finishing this year too. He of a gun and big kick for him also. Haylock is kicked for the season. Uh, that's number five, and that is an absolute ripper under pressure. Much needed. Goldsworthy, influential here. Neat kick again. As he picks off and finds Jack Hayes. Terrific from Goldsworthy under pressure. Well done. Wonky on the move again. That's almost a free kick. The umpire says that's a push. Wonky will get the free. Needs to convert. Kick the first of the quarter. Three-time Ken Farmer medalist, twice with South Adelaide in 2011-2013, and then with the Eagles in 2014. He makes no mistake. The Eagles have kicked three in a row. It's from turnovers. Snelling onto the boot. Favors Almond against Archie. Wants support. He sold his teammate into trouble there. Luke Thompson. He's tackled by Palmer. And the umpire's coming. The free kick's going to Brett Eddy. What a 25 metres out after taking a mark. This from a free kick. Put it on the boundary line. Oh, likes it off the boot. Likes it a lot. That is a terrific finish from Brett Eddy. Never cooked it, but he'll get time to recover. Got Robbie Young on his outside. Joins in now the left footer. Dances inside one. Gets around Petrenko. Drives deep, looking for Gray in the pocket. And Summerton lurking dangerously at the back. I'll oh, put this one down. Summerton won't miss from there. And Summerton gets the goal. He enjoys it too. Terrific work. Get around, Nathan Rudloff. Titri Galley product never shirks an issue. A little restart. Set sign or a task. Open the door. Chance now for Tom Gray to march into the open goal. And the Magpies get the first of the third quarter. And sample Facebook page. Encourage you to get involved and give us your thoughts who you think might be the ultimate champions here. And a chance now for the Eagles' much needed goal. It's Hall driving forward. And Chris Hall gets his first goal of the game. Era gets down low, helping clean up. Atley involved. Almost a volleyball pass there from Era. Goes on whistle. Aiden Johnson wheels around, going deep, well weighted at the back. Oh, nice grab, Robbie Young. 
who's kicked eight goals in four sample games this season coming into today, Robbie Young. Likes it off the boot, punches the air with delight, and the Magpies are looking as though they're going to the big dance. But they really need to find a more reliable avenue to goal. Just four goals today. And they average on the season 77 points to be fifth in the competition. And Port Adelaide, well, they're the leading scorers. A lot more shots on goal. 14 goals this season. Aiden Johnson gave the goal umpire some work, but he snuck it in to extend the advantage. Field is pushing deep. Tupas was one of those. Terrific work, but a turnover here to the Eagles. Lewis measures the kick. That'll be a mark for one kick. Both came in that second term. The Eagles goalless to the scoreboard end today. One kick from 40. Looks good off the boot. Goal umpire hasn't moved at all. And the Eagles get their fifth of the game. Back with Eric Gain on board. And there is the siren in the background. And the Magpies march on. Port Adelaide has won their seventh consecutive game and are going to their second grand final in four years. They've done it here in style against the minor premiers, winning the second semi-final by 33 points.